Hi again, everyone. So today I'm back to show you some things that I have picked up for my crazy Disney collection. And these are things that I have picked up like throughout the entire summer. So I do have quite a bit of things to show you. I'm going to try to do it in one video, but I may have to make this into two videos. But let's just get started and we'll just we'll see how it goes. So the first thing I want to show you is actually a Starbucks mug. And they sell this down at Disneyland, but I didn't get it at Disneyland. Um, if you've watched my channel, you know that every year there's like a Disney convention that goes on in Linwood, Washington. It's called the Pacific Northwest Mouse Meet. So anyways, at the convention, they do have vendors set up to sell, you know, Disney items and things like that. And then they also have always have guest speakers. The speakers are by far the best thing about the convention. I just love listening to their guest speakers. Um, they've had people that have worked with Walt Disney, people that have designed a lot of the rides down at Disneyland or like at Epcot. I mean, it's really, really interesting. So the speakers are definitely the biggest draw, but it is nice to be able to shop, you know, and find some stuff for my Disney collection. So there was a lady there that was selling, um, she had a couple of these mugs. But this is the Starbucks you are from the You Are Here collection. And so I had to pick this up. And this is what that looks like. Disneyland. And then that's. Anyways, if, if I bought it in Disneyland, it would be $14.95, but I bought it from her, and I think she charged $20. So I did pay like five extra bucks, but I really love the cup and it was brand new in box. But the funny thing being, I could have picked this up myself because we are going to Disneyland in November. But I just, I didn't want to wait. I just really, you know, it's like immediate gratification. So I had to buy the cup. So I picked that up. And I don't think I'm going to go in any kind of order because I kind of have a whole bunch of stuff to show you. So some of it, I'll try to tell you if I remember if I got it like in an estate sale or if I got off of eBay or where I got it. So in, it's just random order. But staying on the lines of mugs, why not? Um, recently, in fact, I think I just got this within the last week. I bought this mug on eBay and it was $9.99 with free shipping, which that is an incredible deal because shipping for a mug, um, I would think that, would, you know, that's at least $6 or more. Um, it came priority. So it's the America on Parade, which I think this might have been, I should know this stuff because I've got a few things in my collection, maybe like the 70s or the 80s, but it's like a milk, I don't know, it, you can kind of see through it. I don't know what kind of glass this is, but I just thought that was really, really cool. Because like I said, I do have a couple other things with this emblem on it in my collection. And to show you something that goes with that, I did find this at an antique store um, just a few weeks ago. And I got, it's the, like a trivet. You could hang it, I guess. Um, but it's a trivet in America on Parade. So, wow, that's cool. It almost looks like the stars, look at the stars up there. It looks like they're like sparkling and going around, but I... Yeah, they're not. But anyways, this was $5 at the antique store. It was half off. So it was five bucks. And um, I have a, I think I have a like a clear glass downstairs in my collection with this emblem. And I think I have a tray, like a tin metal tray. So now I got a couple more things to add to that. And then um, where do I want to go to next? This, I believe, I got at Value Village maybe a month or so ago, and it's a snow globe. I don't really want to take it out of the package. It's going to be really hard to see, but the reason I picked this up is it's from Hong Kong Disneyland, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, still in the box and everything. The box is a little bit damaged, but it's basically just Minnie, Mickey, and Donald, and Goofy. Uh, trying to see if Pluto's in there but I don't see him and it looks like they're just lounging like at the beach or whatever it's kind of like kind of a just a summer scene or whatever and this was I think I kind of paid a lot for this more than I wanted to it wasn't on sale and I don't think I had a coupon I think it was $9.99 so it originally retailed for 180 Hong Kong dollars so anyways I picked that up 
And then I also picked up this from a thrift store. This is pretty cool. Uh, it's a ceramic Cinderella's castle. Actually, it's either Cinderella's or Sleeping Beauty. But anyways, so it's like a ceramic castle and it lights up. So it has a cord that you plug in, you know, and it lights up. And it's really, really pretty. It's really cool. Um, I paid $27.50 for this, which I did not want to pay. It was at a little thrift store that I had never been to before. Um, I think it benefits, though, like like the animal shelter. So it's a good cause. But wow, $27.50, that was kind of a lot to spend on that. Um, and this is from, I didn't even pay attention to this before, but from 1988. Looks like it was sold at Sears. So... Anyways, I picked that up. And then, let's see what else to show you. I guess I'll show you these cute little puppets. Now, I did not get these together at the same time, but they like go together. That's kind of the funny thing. The first one I picked up was this old Mickey Mouse puppet. This was in an estate sale, and I want to say it was like, it was really, really, really reasonable. I want to say it was a dollar. It was crazy. It was like a buck. And it has the, I mean, it's really old. Look at the, the tag. Walt Disney character. Um, I think it's made in Hong Kong. Yeah, it's made in, it's a gunned. Can you see, where, where's my, oh, there it is. And it's made in Hong Kong. And it's in really, for its age, it's in exceptional condition. Like, I don't see any stains on the, on the material. See the front and the back? It's in great, great condition. And even he's in great, great condition. Do you see him? Um, I just can't believe that it was only a dollar. Of course I had to have him for my collection. But the funny thing being, my sister and I were out going to antique stores, uh, actually on the east side of Washington, eastern Washington, over by Kashmir. And I found th this mini that goes with him. It's got the same, the same tag. See, it's again has the same tag, but it's mini. She is not in as good as condition as he as he is, but still, it, it, she's not in too too rough a shape. Um, there's not really any big. I mean, this looks a little bit dirty, but nothing like no big stains or anything. Um, actually, I guess there is a stain up here. There's a stain, but I mean, overall, she's in great condition. Um, She's missing some, her ears, uh, they're missing some of the black or whatever in her nose, obviously. But anyways, isn't that weird that I would have found this summer? I found Mickey and then I found Minnie too and like they like go together. I think that's so cool. She was, I think, $3. Still very, very reasonable. Um, I don't know why they're priced so cheap. Maybe, maybe people aren't buying Disney stuff anymore. I mean, I am. So it was a great find for me. So I got those. And then another really awesome find that I found, and this is when we went over to Port, Port Townsend this summer. Um, we took the ferry over there for the day. They have some cute antique shops over there. I found this, and this was I was so excited about. This is actually Walt Disney World, but it's the Jungle Cruise boat. So it's like a little model of the Jungle Cruise boat. I wish it said Disneyland. God, that would have made it super fantastic find. But Disney World, I mean, I've been collecting stuff, obviously, from Hong Kong Disney, Paris Disney. I have a few things from there. Um, so I'm broadening my collection, I guess. So I just love this. Congo Connie is what it says it is. And I kind of paid a lot for this, too. I paid $29. But I did look on eBay to see if there were any listed or any completed. And I want to say that one had sold for... How much was it now? Now I don't remember. But... Like, this was a really good deal. Like, I want to say it was either one sold for $75 or it might have been $175. I don't remember. But $29 was a really good deal. And, of course, they didn't have to pay for shipping or anything because I picked it up, you know, at the antique store. Okay. And then I also picked up, um, this is just a spoon rest. I just got this not long ago at Goodwill, I think it was. It was either Goodwill. No, it was Value Village. I think it was $0.99. Cents. So it's just a spoon rest. It says Disneyland. In my collection, I also have the, there's a bell that, that looks like has this design. And um, 
salt and pepper shakers. And I might have one other thing. Oh, I have a cup and saucer. So now I've got this too to kind of go with the set. So 99 cents. I couldn't, I couldn't leave it. This is much newer though. Um, it's made in Japan, but I'm sure it's, it's much newer than my older stuff. Okay. And then I also picked up when we were up in Leavenworth, which is on the east side of the mountains, on the trip to Kashmir, um, a Pinocchio, a Jim Shore Pinocchio. I'll show you what he looks like really quick. How are we doing on time? 10 minutes? Not too bad. Um, if you don't know, Jiminy Cricket is my favorite Disney character. So I do have another Jim Shore, which if you've seen my videos, I showed my collection. Um, he kind of is hanging. He's like on a stand, but he's like hanging. Like he's like a little, anyways, with an umbrella. But this one is official. He's got his official conscience badge. So he looks a little different. Isn't he cute? I just love Jiminy Cricket. He's so cute. So just him. And I'm trying to think if it says, what did I pay for it? It was really reasonable. The Jim Shores aren't really that bad. I want to say it was between $20 and $30. I just don't remember the exact price. So he had to come home with me when I saw him. He's super cute. Okay. Put that in the box here in a minute. Um, I'm glad I'm getting this video done because I've been... All this stuff has just been collecting like on my dining room table and like in my office and I really want to put it down in my collection. So it's good that I'm getting this video done. Okay, at the same store that I bought the Jim Shore, they also had the um, Thomas Kincaid, uh, the Disney Dreams Collection 2016 calendar. So I actually do have a couple Thomas Kincaid's um, like they're painted wrapped canvas, some pictures that he did down in my collection. I'm not sure if I've shown those. But anyways, I do I do like the Thomas Kincaid Disney stuff. And that's what the different months are going to look like. So I wonder, okay, so I have this wrapped, like painted wrapped canvas or whatever picture. It's um, Peter Pan. I have that in my collection. And then I have the, uh, there's one more, this one. Um, with a lady in the tramp. I have that one. I have these two so Anyways got the calendar and I think I don't remember maybe like $14.99. It was pretty reasonable I mean it was very reasonable for a calendar. Well typical calendar price Okay, and then I was at an estate sale This summer and I picked up this really cool old Disney record. It's chilling thrilling sounds of the haunted house Isn't that cool? and the back looks like and actually it looked like the record was in pretty good condition although I don't have a turntable to play it I mean there are some uh, some surface scratches but overall it's it's in decent shape there's let's see if I can there's a couple more scratches on this side than there are on, on that side but anyways I wonder if it says what year it's from I want to say it was was it the 60s Oh yeah, 1964. So whoa, that is an old record. So I picked that up. Okay, and then also recently I picked up, um, this is from eBay and I just got this this past week. This is really, really cool. This is one of my favorite things I think I've picked up recently. It um, It's like a, I don't know what this is, like an aluminum or tin. Uh, it's like a little tray and it's got Disneyland and then the crest of arms or whatever. And of course there's the castle. But it is so, so cool. And it's in amazing shape. And then the back, um, the back looks like that. But down below it says um, Walt Disney Productions Swiss. So I bought this from somebody and they had best offer on it. So I offered $23 and they accepted the offer. So I was really excited about that. So I thought that was a great deal. So yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces that I've picked up for sure. Okay, 14 minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and just breeze through the rest of the stuff. I've got some stuff in a basket here. So let's go ahead and just go for it. Okay, so this I picked up also at an estate sale. It was $8. And 
And this is just a really old pair of official Mouseketeer Mickey ears. But they're in really, really good shape. I mean, the emblem is still on there pretty good. And then that's the back, it's just like that. But um, yeah, anyways, $8. And I would have totally overlooked this. My son actually was with me and he saw the ears and he's like, mom, don't you think these are cool? I totally would have overlooked it. I, they had them kind of in a weird spot, like where people wouldn't really look, but my son loves to dig through everything, so he found them. Okay, and then I've actually had this for years, but I just came across it again. I kind of forgot about it. It's just, um, I think I got this when they were having their 50th anniversary, possibly, when we were down there. It's just a mouse pad. Yeah, mouse pad. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. Might put it in my collection. I don't know. And then I also got at a garage sale this summer, because um, I do pick up plush things when I see them, usually if they're, you know, pretty affordable. Um, I just realized your belt's kind of messed up right here. There's a string hanging, but I could probably just cut that off. But it's it's Minnie Mouse, but she's dressed up like, um, not Woody, but what was Woody's, the girl, I can't think of her name now. Anyways, she was like 50 cents or something, so I picked her up. She's cute. And then I bought this. I think it, they're pillowcases, or it's a pillowcase. This was at an estate sale too. Might have been at the same estate sale that the Mickey Mouse ears were at, but it's just a pillowcase. It's pretty old. That's what it looks like. It's the same on the front and the back, and it was two dollars. So I don't. I'm not really sure why I picked it up. I have picked up like sheets before. I don't know. I mean, I'm just a sucker for anything you know, Disney and older, so I picked up the pillowcase. Oh yeah, and then this is really cool. I got this at a garage sale, and it was 50 cents. Look at this, this is like an old, it's, I'm gonna say it's, she told me it was like from the 70s, I think, or the late 60s. Uh, is it dated? I don't think it's dated. I wish I could remember now what she told me. Um, but anyways, it's got a really old Disneyland tag on it. Again, it's like, I have been from the 60s, 60s because it's the same type of tag, kind of, that's on the puppets that I showed you guys, the hand puppets. But anyways, um, this is Mickey, and you could unzip him right here. He's got a zipper in the back. And she said that when she was a kid, she would keep, like, her pajamas and stuff stuffed in here. And then it kind of makes it like a pillow or whatever. Or you could stuff it and make it like a pillow to put, like, on your bed or whatever. But she remembers always keeping her pajamas in it. So he's in really good shape uh, overall, except he does have, there was some fur. Yeah, some fur missing, like right there. But still, oh my God, I was so excited about this too. This is also like probably one of my favorite things for my collection because he's just so flipping cute. So cute. So anyways, 50 cents. I was like, oh my God, I would have paid way more than that. Okay, keep it going, keep it going. I picked this up at Goodwill for, it looks like 99 cents. And I think this might have been from like like when they do the ice skating shows or something like that because it looks like a drink or something came in there. It's just the Mickey Sorcerer. He's got his hat. I don't know. I just thought he was cute and would look nice in my collection. So picked him up. Also picked up at a garage sale for 50 cents. I just cannot pass up anything. Like I never used to really collect toys and stuff. I used to only want stuff that said Disneyland. But... Now, any, anything that's Disney, I pretty much pick up. So it's just a little plastic, um, squeaky Mickey. And actually, I bought a Donald, too, for 50, for 50 cents, but my sister's favorite character is Donald, so I gave it to her. Okay. Then I picked up from Value Village for 99 cents just this Mickey Mouse um, 1937. I mean, it's not from 1937, but that's what Mickey would have looked like, I guess, in 1937. Just picked up this coffee mug just because. And I also picked up this from the Goodwill for $1.99. It's just a Mickey Mouse uh, bottle opener. Pretty cool. Some of the stuff is not as exciting as the older vintage stuff, but I just thought I would show you guys. Okay, and then when we went to the Disney convention I was telling you about in Linwood, the Pacific Northwest Mouse Meet, they gave everybody that attended um, these limited edition, well, they were only, they were produced specifically, is what I was told, for the mouse meet and for something else, for like another event, by D23, I guess. 
So there's, I don't remember how many they said, but I want to say they said there maybe a thousand of these out there. I think there was like 400 people at the Pacific Northwest Mouse Meet. And I don't remember how many people attended the other event that they made these for, but I was pretty nice. I was very excited. It's like a, it's a pin, but it's supposed to look like Walt, the first ticket to Disneyland. Walt's ticket, I believe. So that's really cool. So we got that as like, you know, a freebie for going to the convention. They always put together a really nice goodie bag with other stuff in it too, but that was the best thing that was in there. And then I found at an estate, no, at a, a thrift store, I got these um, vintage Mickey Mouse earrings. They were $5.99. They're gold and silver. Not real gold, obviously, but it, aren't they cute? They're hoops with little Mickey sitting in there. thought those were cute for $5.99. And then at the, where did I get this actually? I think I got this at the convention. One of the booths I think was selling, can't remember. I think I might have paid a dollar for this. I just thought it was cute. Disney on a fan, fan club. I thought that was cool. So I think that was a buck. And then I picked this up at the um, at the convention, and I am I I just love this. Okay, these were only ten dollars, but they are vintage Soaky soap bars. So let me just show you. I do love the vintage stuff the most. I have to tell you. So they are little soap bars. They're supposed to be twenty four, I think, in here. And I think they might all be in here. How did I open these? Now oh, I can't remember how I opened these. Well, anyways, that is really cool. And then this, oh yeah, that's right. This flips down. And then these are the bars of soap. So I'll just take one out. I opened this earlier, I think. Maybe. I just don't want to damage them because they're really old. Okay, that's what the bars of soap look like. But they have different characters on them. I haven't looked through all of them. But, like, that's Mickey with a yo-yo. Um, actually, they smell pretty good, considering they're probably really old. I don't know if there's a date on these. These are so flippin' cool, though. Well, anyways, um, I think Donald Duck will be on, you know, Donald Duck, Goofy, Minnie, Pluto, and Daisy. But anyways, $10. I just, I thought that was so flippin' cheap. So, Another one of my favorite things, obviously, for my collection. I just think these soaps are so cool. Okay, about 22 minutes. I need to pick up the pace here. Pick up the pace. Okay, then I picked up some postcards, too, at the convention. Um, this is a Hong Kong Disneyland postcard. I just thought that was really cute. That's what the back looks like. They have never been written on. And um, might have been from the grand opening, because it says up there, grand opening, right there. And then an old um, Haunted Mansion Disneyland postcard. These are all in pristine condition, mint condition. And then Alice in Wonderland. I thought this one was really cute, the rabbit. This is from the Walt Disney Family Museum, actually, which I've never been to. And then the last one was um, Alice in Wonderland from Walt Disney World. Never written on. Can't remember how much those were. I think they might have been a dollar a piece, but I don't remember. And then this is that um, convention I was telling you about. Um, they get give you a postcard, and you can get the speakers that speak. You can after you know you can get everybody the speakers autographs. Um, I didn't get any autographs this time, but usually when I when I do go and I get autographs, I have them sign my lanyard. Whoa, because they, you get one you get a lanyard too to wear, and usually I just have them sign the back or sign the front but I didn't like I said I didn't get autographs this year um, okay and then I think we're almost done here so I picked up this ruler for a dollar at an estate sale I think the same estate sale that I got the pillowcase it's just I don't know it was Disney so I picked it up and then um, I picked up this watch I think this is the last thing to show you I think well because I think I already showed you that 50th anniversary plate. Maybe I should show it again just in case I didn't. But this watch was $15, and I got it from the same lady that I bought the soaps from. And I it has, like, the paperwork. Well, not much paperwork. It has that with it. But it's such a cool watch. I have to get a new battery for it. But it's, um, that's the watch. It's got just gold Mickey, you know, Mickey heads. Um... Mickey icons, I should say. And I'm trying to see, it looks like there could be stones in there too to make it kind of sparkly. 
with kind of a mother of pearl face and it's um, got a leather strap which is dark brown it's hard to tell it looks like it's black but I think it's dark brown but I really need to take this in and get the battery because um, I'm gonna wear this actually um, when we go down in November I want to bring this and wear this so I need to get a new battery so I picked that up and then the last thing I'll show you but I think I have showed this in another video I'm sure I have um, which I got off of eBay I'm sure I showed you guys this this um, it's like a plate like a dessert plate there's six different ones but I like this this one the best the design of this one the best I I'm sure I showed you guys this the castle but I am considering now that I have this one I might try to pick up the other five just so I have the whole set this is six of six I think I did show that to you but I would I want to show you that again um, and then of course it has like the, the paperwork so all right guys that is it that is everything that I have picked up recently well not recently over the entire summer to add to my collection and I need to slow down which I keep saying that because um, I'm running out of room in all honesty to put all of this stuff I am running out of room but I just I cannot help myself when I'm I just I love this stuff so anyways I hope this video wasn't too long thanks for sticking with me if you did and I will just see you in the next video